Well, I thought I'd get started on the uh, apron now, and uh, it of course has quite a few curves to it. So I took the plans off the wall so that I could double check the measurements and look at the various radiuses that there are. Uh, this template I had from before is very close to uh, the dimensions that I need for the two and a half inch stock that the uh, bottom apron is and then uh, I don't have a template for the bottom here but uh, it's easy enough to to measure out uh, there and so so I've started uh, with the drawer blades here and laid out the uh, curves that I need there's two drawer blades here the top one and the center one and then ultimately uh, for the apron we're going to need this piece of 12 quarter on the bottom but they're tacked together right now so I thought I would cut them out both at the same time uh, one has a sliding dovetail uh, the center one and then the top one has a dovetail that fits into the top of the post so that's why they're a slightly different length uh, between the two of them so I cut uh, the corners out with the, the table saw and made a nice uh, straight edge there so now the curves have to be cut out on the bandsaw here so I'll leave a little extra uh, material there so that uh, I can clean it up uh, when I'm done. Well I've bandsawed out the uh, two drawer blades here they're still uh, tacked together and so I was uh, cleaning them up with a little uh, spindle sander but the uh, sharp corners here have to be uh, cleaned up with a chisel. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I think the, the two uh, drawer blades are uh, in good shape and then uh, I'll use this as a template for the, uh, the apron. Well, unless I screw up, I've got the uh, apron laid out here. You can see the design going down this way and then across the top we've got our template laid out like so so all of this has to come out so when I bandsaw it we're going to do this first because otherwise I take the, the markings right off of it and then we'll do this second and there's enough support here 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 and there to keep it uh, level as I saw out this side. So the next thing to do is to do some bandsawing. So I did lie, the bandsawing is not the next step. I want to put the tenons onto the end of here. So I've got my tenoning jig set up to uh, cut the uh, material back to an inch and three quarter here on the edges. And then I'll just sneak up on the depth. <laughs> Well, I got about an eighth of an inch yet to go. Well, I've got uh, one side done now, so now for the other side, the other direction. Well, there you have it. It's uh, cut out in both directions now and uh, so now it's a matter of uh, cleaning up all the bandsaw marks and getting it uh, nice and smooth so that's the next step well after uh, bandsawing the uh, face of the uh, apron here is pretty rough so I use a 
spoke shave here for final shaping and then uh, probably a card scraper to uh, finish it off but I'll need to use a chisel wherever we have uh, sharp corners here to uh, get them crisp so it shouldn't take too long to get these uh, rounded and of course with a round bottom spoke shave it just follows the curves well I'm finish, finishing cleaning up the uh, apron here with the uh, card scraper and it's doing a, as usual a nice job trying not to stand in front of the camera but uh, makes a nice finish this is a real flexible one and it works well in this small area so we'll have it all cleaned up here in a few minutes well I've got the uh, apron fitted to the uh, f front mortises and uh, squared up here so it fits uh, really nice so we've got nine inches between uh, here and the, the top and then these two uh, blades drawer blades Uh, split the difference so you have a center one and then a, a top one so uh, that'll be the, this is a sliding dovetail that goes in here and then there's a dovetail that goes into the top so that's the next step and so I put uh, dovetails a half inch dovetail on uh, the both ends of this divider drawer uh, blade or drawer divider and uh, it fits uh, just between these two posts here and then there's a three and a half inch uh, gap or three and three quarters rather uh, gap for the uh, first set of drawers and then three and three quarters for the second set and then there's a, a top rail that goes uh, uh, between there to, to make up the difference so uh, all I did is take my marking knife and uh, ascribe a line uh, along the edges of the uh, dovetail and uh, now we got to cut it out and then slide it in well I'm gonna saw out the uh, dovetail now so in preparation for that uh, cutting a long dovetail like this by hand uh, I used my marking knife to extend the lines from the narrowest part of the dovetail uh, straight back and uh, then I'm using a chisel bench chisel here to establish a uh, groove for the uh, saw to follow So there we have it. There's a shoulder here and a shoulder here. So the saw should uh, follow that, I hope. So I'm using my dovetail saw and I can, I have a, a line scribed here to, uh, for, the, uh, for the dovetail. And it's just a matter of following that along. The line and both directions of course but establishing that shoulder helps uh, keep the saw straight across that it's how we do uh, uh, this in particular one is not a sliding dovetail but uh, it's a longer dovetail but that's how it's done so now I'm using a bench chisel here to Take out the middle very carefully. 
and normally um, this is hidden it's on the inside of the cabinet <clears throat> so I'm not worried too much about blowout there so we'll work our way down to the bottom here which is marked and then I'll use a uh, hand routing plane to work on the flat base so I'm just flattening out the bottom here with uh, the hand router and it does a nice job as you know going uh, making things nice and flat front to back well I uh, put the dovetails onto the uh, top uh, drawer blade uh, which you know helps hold the cabinet together and the uh, the depth is seven eighths of an inch but the uh, shape and size of the dovetail is purely arbitrary so I've got it uh, a little over an inch there and so after uh, putting it back together then I scribed uh, with my marking knife the uh, socket on top of this uh, post and uh, now I'm cutting it out so just following the uh, knife lines and it's like cutting out a half line dovetail So I'm chopping out the socket for the dovetail that you just saw me cut. So we got a little ways to go. Well I fitted the two drawer blades in uh, this afternoon so the this was the sliding dovetail or dovetail that went all the way through and then there was a there's a dovetail up here on the top of the post uh, which is the other one so uh, mechanically this thing is pretty solid um, it's certainly not coming apart here um, this is just a simple uh, tenon tenoned into either side there so uh, i don't think uh, it's going anywhere so the next step is to put in the vertical uh, drawer dividers here here and in here so we'll be starting on that tomorrow